this is a, all the old parts of Manchester still. A lot of it's unchanged, and then you go around the corner, and there's huge modern developments. And in front of us, that's the old library. And um, and they have the big art centre. change from my childhood. Um, fucking change. It's exactly the same. Unchanged. Um, That's my house. Oh, look at it. Well, look, which this, one? This one? This one, this one. That's my house. I think the strong emotions always triggered off my art. Uh, when I was a young girl at Manchester Art College, my father died when I was 17, not even 18, and was gone. And we were just left with our mother, a kind of ogre, really. And then everything changed. When I went back in the summer, people asked me, did you have a good did you have a good summer holiday? And because we was, I was the only one with an older parent, you couldn't say, by the way, my father just died. It was just too shocking. So I hid my tears and brought, and brought them out in my paintings. I gained a place at the Royal College of Art London, where I spent three years doing an MA. Then I got involved with business. Somehow I got involved with the fashion business, which we call The Fool. I was one of the directors, and alongside Rudy, we designed and made female fashion that became very famous. We sold all over Europe, and for 13, 14 years, the business was very successful. Years later, some personal traumatic events triggered off my making huge amounts of images that led me to start a greetings cards and prints business and I ended up sharing a shop in the Portobello Road with a complete stranger at the time, a man called Wayne. And for about 13 years we worked as colleagues on our own separate businesses in the heart of London. In 2007, my sister died, and her death, something that was so severed from all the images of my past, my mother, all my stories, suddenly had lost any meaning. The whole, everything to do with my childhood had gone with her going. We couldn't, there was nothing else to talk about it anymore. So her death in 2007, she's my only relative besides my son. That triggered off my going to university, it triggered off my doing a whole lot of installation work, a whole lot of work to do with time, looking at now, looking at the idea of gone. I did a full-time MA in digital film and animation. My final project, a three-screen triptych, represented all life is in the moment, three moments in time. It was experimental video, which embedded my drawings and artwork. That's to do with identity. I don't want to be seen as one thing. 
I don't want to be seen as mad or bad, as my mother wanted me. I don't want to be seen as just an old age pensioner. I don't want to be seen as the wife or the lover of the man. Maybe calling, well I am an artist, an artist can wander in and out of, of different labels. Not one label defines me. And that's why art's been so important for me. And it's allowed me to be confident. And the art, because it's come from my heart and my spirit, other people have connected with it, no matter what I've ever done, whether I've done clothes, whether I've done fashion, whether I've done just my own paintings, or whether I've done cards, whether I've done films, the, the emotional connection that I've put into it, other people have always connected to it. And maybe I have this connection with people because I myself don't want to be labelled, so I don't label them, I don't label people. You just see them as a series of identities. You try and feel the person. I think I have a, a strong emotional connection when I meet people. The bit that was odd, which in fact, it's very interesting looking back, none of the labels have any meaning. That I was called, I was mad, I was called bad, by my mother, which she was using me as her vehicle. And for years and years, and way into my 30s, there was the emotion of being told that was definitely part of me. And, and now I'm no longer a child. I'm no longer a child. And I don't need to carry that baggage with me. It's, ir it's irrelevant, you know. Um, I feel I've become many different things, a different kind of mermaid. I've allowed, I've been open enough to allow new experiences. And if she felt maybe unwittingly her calling me things, my mother, made me kind of more sensitive to my emotions. Probably made me a better artist, really. <laughs>